this is the gate that almost killed me, guys. This is the gate that literally took us about 45 minutes to walk to. Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Life of Brian. I am drenched in sweat, and I just finished walking the longest distance ever in the history of Evers uh, to make this connecting flight from Papet to, or from LAX to Papet. Uh, long story short, every flight that could be delayed, anyone who could have possibly died or something that could have fallen off the airplane did happen. And we barely, barely, barely made this connection. But we are on our way to Bora Bora, the wife and I, for a few days. And yeah, once we get there, I will be completely relieved. But we are standing at our check-in gate, waiting to board our flight to Pipette. And uh, hopefully we get there on time. Given what's happened today so far, no guarantees, but... Um, We'll definitely keep you guys updated when we get there. Stay tuned. So we actually have a little bit of time to kill guys. So I'm gonna actually give you the backstory. So anyways, uh, three part, three leg trip here. Uh, Houston LAX, LAX to Papette, Papette to Bora Bora. So our flight from a Houston to LAX was supposed to leave at like, um, like eight ate something and then we got notification it was delayed for like an hour then an hour and a half then two hours and then obviously it was running into the connecting uh flight for la and there's like there's no way we're going to make that so for the next two hours my wife and i spent calling united air tahiti Qantas airlines to try to figure out how to move our flight but they couldn't move the flight because it's connected and if you move a flight then it voids the last leg of the flight all this sort of nonsense so my wife came up with this ingenious idea of instead of trying to change the second and the third leg to try to change the first leg to get to LAX earlier, which we managed to do literally at the last second. We got the last two seats on a flight that got into LAX theoretically about an hour and a half earlier. But when we went to that flight, it got delayed, delayed, delayed. And by the time we took off, it was showing an arrival time of like 1130 and the connecting flight in LA took, out, took off at 1155. And of course, everything here is, everything I booked is like non-refundable, non-cancelable. So I'm like sweating bullets. Um, we land here, we uh, fight our way through the, the airline, and then uh, literally walk about 10 miles to get to the gate. So yeah, gate 205 LAX almost killed me, almost killed us. But we're waiting aboard right now. Hopefully the next four days will be a lot less stressful. Um, but tip, if you go to uh, Bora Bora from Houston and you go through LAX, leave at least six hours.
So the uh, adventure of trying to get to Bora Bora continued this morning. We arrived uh, in Papet and got an email notification that our flight had been delayed or moved back until uh, basically 10 hours due to a strike. So instead of getting it at 8 in the morning, we were scheduled to get it at 3 in the morning. Thank God we found a uh, helpful uh, representative for Air Tahiti. She managed to smuggle us in an earlier flight, which get leaves for 10 and gets into Bora Bora on 11. But again, the hits just keep on coming. It's like the gods do not want us to get to Bora Bora. So we are killing by another hour and a half at the Papet Airport here in Tahiti. And hopefully, uh, with nothing else uh, scheduled to go wrong or get delayed, we will um, be at Bora Bora around 11 a.m. this morning. Looking forward to it and looking forward to finally getting to our destination. So when you're at the Tahiti airport, of course you have to get McDonald's because Big Macs anywhere in the world are pretty good. And uh, yeah, so let's see if the Big Mac here is as good as back home. In case you guys are wondering, the uh, Big Mac and the McNuggets here in Tahiti, French Polynesia, right? Mm -hmm. French Polynesia tastes very similar to back home. Same portions. Same portions. They're speaking to me in French and I think they're their native tongue, but I just like nodding yes. <laughs> oh you try it first. Did I try first? Soy you sauce? already tried it? No, I didn't try it. Soy sauce? Uh-huh. How do I put it on? Thanks put on all of them. Here we go, the moment of truth. Should we do this one? Go for the tuna. It's really hard. A lot. Very hard? Very hard. It's too much rice. Too much rice. <laughs> And the rice is hard. The sushi rice is not that good. It's terrible. It's a little bit too cold. You know what it is? It's um a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quality sushi. It's like yesterday's supermarket sushi. I think this is a uh, fried something roll. Jiro would not approve of this, but it's edible. So we are finally, we think, boarding the last leg of our trip to go from Papet to Bora Bora. So. Any other disasters or unfo unforeseen uh, emergencies aside, we should be there in about 50 minutes, but we're just hoping to get on the plane with no other incidents. started as a flight or was started as a trip to uh, the um, Bush International Airport at 3 p.m. yesterday. It is now 10.21 local time and we are finally hopefully on our way to Bora Bora so fingers crossed.
Bora Bora guys. Quite the view. We just got laid. I know. Ba -dum -boom. Now we get our uh, luggage and head out. So this is our private boat for the transfer to the St. Regis Resort. Thank God we finally made it guys. We finally made it to Bora Bora. So we were waiting for our captain to head out into the uh, crystal blue turquoise water and uh, we're starving. So hopefully there's food at the resort, which I'm, I'm guessing there will be, but. Beautiful. Oh, sure. Thank you. Uh, what brought you now to Bora Bora? Uh, just a vacation. vacation. Just a vacation, yeah. yes. We need your passport and a credit card. We are heading to lunch right now and trying to find the restaurant, which we were told is somewhere in this general direction, so. Yeah. So I could definitely get used to this view. Yes. Of course, no matter where we travel or where we go, we have to try the French fries. Always a good sign when the place has their own individual ketchup, mini ketchup bottles. Just pushing for you to advise him, karma, let him know that you need to speak with your managing partner to confirm strategy. Okay, I'll get back to you before the end of the month.
So always being the adventurous eaters that we are, my wife and I got the fish and chips. <laughs> You said this is the lagoon fish, which is, what is lagoon fish like? Random fish. It's just fish. one of the fish in the, in the lagoon. What's a doy? Thank you. Look at that coconut. Coconut water. It's a huge coconut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is it wrong with that? Mm -hmm. No, no, sorry. I, I thought it was like um kind of like a swordfish consistency very kind of um not thick but it's good, good it's good flavor it looks like chicken actually but it's not dry considering we had mcdonald's and crackers on the airplane Questionable sandwich on air to heat This is pretty good. So we finished our tour, our golf cart tour of the resort, and we, of course we had lunch, and we got some absolute essentials for the room, specifically soda and water. And we are waiting now for our villa to be ready. Uh, they said it should be ready no later than three. It's before my watch died. I think it's close to 2.30, so hopefully our villa will be ready soon. And then um, we have a session at the, um, at the spa, uh, a massage scheduled for four o'clock. So that should be good considering we walked about 10 miles at LAX to make our flight to Papette. So I think that massage will be very, very, very um, needed at this point. So just sitting in the lobby right now, and a very nice lobby, by the way. Waiting for the, uh, the villa to be ready. So hopefully it won't be too much longer. The room is ready, so we are heading to the villa now and it cannot come any sooner. It's been a long, long journey. Man, this thing goes pretty fast. Isn't that the weird couple of people looking at from behind?
have the room number, so it will be easy for you to identify. Okay, okay. Yeah, and if the key don't put a Wi-Fi, you can go uh, with your last name and the room number. Okay, thank you, Diana. My pleasure. Well, uh, I just wanted to let you know. This is a very nice view from the beach that is directly behind the spa where we're about to get our uh, massages. Very nice. So sitting in the relaxation lounge room area prior to the massage, uh, the masseuse is supposed to come and get me, and uh, there are apples and I think cucumber infused water for me to snack on if I get bored. So, um, this place looks promising. I'm hoping the massage is, is at least decent because, again, after walking at 10 miles at LAX, I could definitely use a good massage. Hey guys, so we finished the uh, session in the spa, which is actually very, very relaxing. Um, we're now waiting to get picked up to go to dinner. Um, it's Paula. It's the Polynesian show night. So there's going to be a show and dancing and the fire things that you know typically see. They're kind of like a, if you guys have been to Hawaii, um, I'm sure you guys have seen those before. And I believe it's pretty similar. But um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead to dinner in a little bit, but just kind of relaxing out by the. Uh, show and I think Polynesian themed food as well so pretty hungry and excited to check that out. Fish thing. The raw fish. First thing that we got. Yes. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Yes, we have for you. Thank you. And thank no you. Alcohol. No alcohol. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. So this is the tea pong. In the pineapple, banana juice, lime juice, rodosha with the liquor. Okay. Thank you. And the rum. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So we don't have uh, the alcohol here. Yeah? Banana, banana, uh, pineapple juice, grenade, and lime juice. Thank you, ma'am. Mm, that coconut shrimp is surprisingly good. The coconut shrimp? Mm -hmm. It looks good. What can you eat that it's sauce on top of rice? Mm -hmm. like,
trying a piece of the tender line here. Papaya poke, yeah. I didn't get that one. Is it pieces of papaya? Well, it's like a dessert. Oh, okay. Like a food salad kind of thing? It's like, um, what I compare it to, there's like a Vietnamese dessert that's very similar to that. It's like a jello sort of consistency. This one, yeah. I just, yeah. Aren't you I think it's just like a um, fat fish or something, something weird. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Back fish, I mean, it starts with tea. But yeah, very like swordfish. Mm -hmm. Is there tuna? And I don't like swordfish. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Nothing like what we had in here. They also have some tuna sashimi. Mm -hmm. white chocolate. The cantaloupe is good. I mean, the fruit, I mean. I don't know. I don't know. Chocolate fruit doesn't matter. Look at this. Not even strawberry. What are those weird things? Strawberries are the best chocolate color. Oh, my God. No, it's not. People just say they like it, though. They say they like it because they don't How is that? Mango passion the um the mango passion fruit tart. It's pretty good. I can't really make out with the white one is though. It's like a, it's like a meringue or mousse or something. It's like mango passion fruit something, right? Or no? Uh, this one's the mango passion fruit tart. Uh, no, there's not going Actually, if you dig into the bottom part, it's like the bottom is like. A teacher yeah. apricot. Oh, yeah. That's just, it's actually pretty good if you get the cream and the bottom, the cream and the bottom like little the crust. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not pretty good.